Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hire a lumberjack. <laughs> this is actually very serious. Back in the old day before the chainsaw, all you had to use for cutting down trees was a dynamite or explosives or just cutting down trees. Now what you do is you get a rusty axe, a turtle shell or a club. Not the crafted club, just the normal club, the cannibal one. And what you do is that you keep provoking the armsy and you keep the weapon in block. Now it can be a bit of a pain because armsies aren't exactly that clever. Though I recommend that you give this a go at least once because you can learn about the behavior of the armsies. Sometimes I actually think this is even faster than using the chainsaw. Now keep in mind that if a tree lands on you, it's probably not going to be good for your health. Now stand behind the tree, he knows where you are. For instance, I can't see him, but he knows I'm here. Generally. Make sure you're facing him too. Uh, the block radius is a bit off. The block of the rusty axe, turtle shell, and the club are the best. They actually block 100% of damage regardless of your armor. Now, if you're new to the game, or you've never seen an armsy, I don't recommend you do this. The worst thing you can do is panic. And if you do this for long enough, you'll get uh, cannibals show up. There's all the tree noises and that. When the trees fall, it makes a lot of noise. Now, I've done this heaps. I've got a one armsy to cut down about 100 trees for me. You can do this with multiple armsies. It actually speeds it up. You just really don't want one to get behind you and and take you down. Now the only time, I've never had this actually go wrong, I've never died doing this. I've had a few annoyances with cannibals coming along. You generally want to take them out as soon as possible. But you want to keep your eye on the prize, keep your eye on that armsy. He gets you, you're probably going to feel it. Now the next best weapon from the Rusty Axe, Turtle Shell or the Club is either the modern axe or the crafted axe. They have the same amount of block. Yes, as you can see, this can be quite efficient. And it's actually quite fun because it's challenging. Cutting down trees with an axe or chainsaw, there's no threat involved. There's no challenge, but this, it's a different beast. You're fighting against one of the hardest hitting enemies. This is a good way to get um, more trees when you're out of dynamite and that. Now, usually I would actually, in the spare time, I would actually take down this uh, female cannibal that's hanging around. If you leave them too long, the armsy will take off. They're not exactly super smart. Still have never worked out what actually provokes them. I don't think this is cheating considering what an armsy will do to your walls and base. Now, sometimes trees won't get knocked down by him. There's some trees that actually are invulnerable to armsy attacks for some reason. On hard, if you're not blocking, I believe an armsy will do about 90% damage with one hit. Maybe, is it two hits? I can't remember. But always make sure you've got enough food and energy to escape if you need to. Don't sprint around too much because you'll use your stamina. You want to save your stamina for escaping or if you're ever in the shit. Now, the longest you would probably do this for is about 20 minutes. Any longer and it starts getting boring. I've uh, played multiplayer and I've had, um, I think the last time I did this, I had two people were uh, chasing around with the logs and that, picking them all up and they couldn't do it fast enough. So that goes to show that this is actually a very good method. The dark gray armsies actually hit harder than um, these ones, these tanned or skin colored ones. It's a shame that the armsies can't actually damage the cannibals. Armsies are the only mutants and enemies that can actually knock down the trees. I haven't tried with uh, the babies or anything. <laughs> the babies are actually really good at knocking down defensive walls. I've got a funny video I've got to put up eventually. It's, it's hilarious. Virginias can't take down trees. Cannibals can't take down trees either. 
and the cowmen can't take down crap. They literally cannot even jump over rock walls. A good trick you can do is have a friend pick up the logs while you're leading the arms here around, or vice versa. The only thing is, don't get too close to the armsy. Otherwise, the other person could tag the armsy, and the armsy will start chasing them. If that does happen, just hit him. Hit the armsy, and the armsy should head back around and get back to work. Yeah, you will learn a lot from watching armsies do this. They seem to have three attacks that they do. They've got the full swing, which is where they leap at you and they don't leap, I guess. It's more like s sort of semi-charge and take a big, like big uppercut at you. The other one's like a big thud one. That's the one they like doing on trees, as you see from the footage here. And the other one is the tirade of swings. It's three swings, they go warm, warm, warm. <laughs> I can't do th noises very well. The three hit one is the one you really want to get because if you're standing next to like three or four trees, that arms you could take them all down at the same time. Now I've actually been doing this for a while and I've never had a tree land on me. Maybe that trees cut down by armsies don't seem to hurt anyone. I've never seen them kill a cannibal, so I don't know. Now, the modern axe and crafted axe will block 90% of damage. It's around there. If you've got armor on, you can actually negate all the damage, but it's really uh, buggy. I've got a block video ready to go, but the armor inconsistency is something that I'm not confident on. Yes, I do recommend you do this. Uh, studying the behavior of the arms is a really good method to defeating them. It's good when you get them on a roll. So many trees. Now the worst weapon you can use for block is the katana or the machete. I don't recommend you use them. You, they can block, but the block is crap. I really think they need to do something about that. With the katana and uh, machete, they say so that it's got no block, but it actually blocks a fair amount of damage. To say it's got none and then give it block, it seems a bit misleading. I think it would confuse a lot of players. Yeah, sometimes armsies will just attack trees on their own. They don't need you around. Sometimes it looks like they're walking away, like they've lost interest, but it's like a little mind game they play. Now, I've never died doing this because I just keep right click on. I keep that block on no matter what. I'll put a, I should have a timer down on the video. We'll work out how many trees he's cut down, roughly. I'm not going to count them all. This is insane. It'll take too long. But yes, hide behind the trees. No doubt this will be extremely scary to do this for the first time. So maybe do it on creative or make sure you load up on your armor first. And I recommend you have your sound on because uh, armsies tend to be quite vocal. You want to keep them that way. It's probably going to be uncommon you're going to be able to get a armsy. It does happen. When it does, I take full advantage of it. I usually use the modern axe for this, but um, since finding out about the block thing, it's probably best to use one that's 100%. Might switch to the modern axe and see what happens. Come at me, bro. Almost always I've had cannibals show up within about 10 minutes. I believe it's got to do with the trees hitting the ground, the noise. Cannibals will generally show up. If they get a little too much to handle, try using an explosive or something like that. Try not to set the armsy on fire because they go quite erratic and you want to get them to hit trees, not go berserk and try and kill you, which is what they're trying to do anyway. The chainsaw doesn't have permanent fuel anymore. Apparently the chainsaw uh, fuel doesn't respawn and I'm pretty certain this is the case. 
I really need to be playing with my headset on. I actually often, often when I'm playing and recording, I won't even have any sound on. So I don't know what's behind me. And keep in mind if you've got any structures nearby. Trees falling on structures tends to not end well. Um, what I have noticed is that armsies won't destroy the tree stumps either. Which is good. Yeah, see, there's a behavior there. I'll just knock down trees randomly. Another thing to keep in mind, and this is really important, is how many trees you actually want. If he's going to cut down the entire forest in the area that you're in, and you're like, oh crap, I've got to go in five minutes, or your friends aren't going to help you load the logs, or for any reason, you don't want that to happen, because it's a lot of logs to cart up onto a log carts and that. Often armsies won't show up alone, they'll show up with a Virginia or a, a was it a fat man? What do they call a cow man? You want to take them out first. They tend to be the biggest pains I've found. Yes, definitely keep your sound on. When they're galloping, you really want to be alert because they gallop fast. Yeah, sometimes he does it on his own. He doesn't even need you to provoke him. Keep in mind, if you're standing next to deep water, such as the sea or the, the lake or anything like that, if the arms he runs in, he'll probably kill himself. Now, there's no way to trigger an armsy coming into the game. You can spawn one using mod API in the ultimate cheat menu, though... To play it normally and have one spawn is completely random. You have to be at the right time of day. And I believe you have to piss them off enough. Though I don't know that yet. It seems to be a mystery. I just got caught in those trees there. It's a good thing I didn't panic. The last thing you want to do is panic. Yes, eventually you're going to start getting low on water and that. Now, once you're done with him, uh, I'll show you an easy way to take him out. Is that you wait till he finishes attacks and then you just go take stabs at him. Or you wait for him to do these little screams. And then you get him to keep cutting down trees until he does the same thing again. Just take your time with it. You don't want to rush taking them down. The last thing you want to do is get caught in a hit. Now you can always take them down with a bow and arrow. This is what I like about this method is that it teaches you the behavior and um, when's the best time to strike. So like right now, get two hits in. Where's he going? Come back, friend. We haven't paid you your day's wages. When they turn their back on you, you can generally get a hit in. Yeah, when they do their scream, I wouldn't get to any more than two hits in. One or two is enough. You don't want to get greedy. You don't want to do all this work and have them, um, kill you, <laughs> piss you off. I think on hard, I've been playing on hard with the patrol route videos and the armsies and other mutants tend to spawn at around uh, day six, around day seven. 
Somewhere around there. Also, you don't want too many logs to come down during the game, as the game might run out of memory or the uh, assets might build up too much. Might cause a crash. You don't really want that. Yeah, he's on his way down now. I feel bad for killing him because I've built like a relationship with this guy. Like he's like a friend now. He's helped me. I feel bad to take him down. Now I'm getting greedy. Yeah, you want to take him down before you get too sick of it because otherwise you're going to want to rush it. Might get you killed. There we go. Rest in peace, friend. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times. But yes, I highly recommend you give this a go. Even if you don't need the trees or anything. You learn so much from it and it's actually quite fun. It is the most entertaining way to take down trees in the game. For sure. Anyway, if there's any changes to this, I'll post them in the comments. I doubt it will. I've been doing this for 8 months. Still hasn't changed. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.